tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your flashcard maker cards and import them into a PowerPoint on a Mac. First point is flashcard maker runs on a Windows machine. So go to your Windows computer and make your flashcards as usual. And then when you print them, instead of printing to your printer, print them as an Adobe PDF file. Then you need to take this Adobe PDF file and either save it to a USB drive or use the cloud service like Dropbox, iCloud, or OneDrive so that you can open it on your Mac. So open your PDF file on your Mac and then you can open your PowerPoint. One thing about PowerPoint is the default slide size is widescreen. So I recommend changing that to standard. How you can do that is your tab at the top, click on design. If you go to the far right, there is an option called slide size. If you click on this, you can change your size from widescreen to standard for three. Now PowerPoint has one more weakness, and that is that it cannot import a multi-page PDF file. What it will import is only the first page. So that's where we're going to have a quick workaround. In today's, in order to import your PowerPoint, there are a couple of Mac shortcuts that are very useful. The first one is Command Tab. You can use Command Tab to very quickly change between programs. The second useful shortcut command is Command Shift 3. This is to print a whole screen. In order to make our slides, the next command is the most useful, Command Shift 4. This is a print screen command that will print a partial screen. So let's go to our PDF file. I'm going to hit Command Tab. If I hit Tab once, it'll take me to my Finder. If I hit it a second time, it'll take me to my PDF. So here I have created a PDF with four slides. What I am going to do is hit Command Shift 4, and it gives me this little plus. I'm going to line that up in the top left corner, left click, drag across my screen to the bottom, left, bottom right, and then release. Now I'm going to go to my next slide and do the same thing. So Command Shift 4, I'm going to left click, drag, and release. And I'll do it one more time, two more times. Command Shift 4, left click, drag, and release. And last slide. Command Shift 4, left click, drag, and release. Okay. So now I have my screen, screenshots created. You need to know where your screenshots are saved. Now my screenshots on my computer are saved automatically to Dropbox to a screenshot folder. In order to make this go quickly, I have saved some screenshots onto my desktop. So if I go back to my PowerPoint, now I'm going to go ahead and in, go back to home and click on new slide. I usually use a blank slide for this. Now there's two ways that you can insert your picture. One is click insert and then go to picture, picture from file. Now here you're going to go where your screenshots are saved. So mine are on my desktop. So I'm going to import my Apple picture. Click insert and there it is. Now I can go back to home, create another new slide and I'll go ahead and insert picture picture from file, and I'll import my text, and click insert. I'm going to create, I'll create two new slides quickly. New slide, blank, and insert one more. Oops, home, new slide, blank. One thing here, I actually caught a little bit of the top edge on my Apple screenshot. Um, I can fix this easily by clicking on it and going to picture. 
sorry, picture format, and it will give me a crop, op crop option. I can just crop that a little bit and get rid of my gray line. Click on crop one more time, and now there's no gray line. One more thing I can do is I can go to the place where my files are saved, and I can take them, and I can left click on the image, and then I can just drag it over to my PowerPoint slide. That will also import it directly into my PowerPoint. And now I have a, I have a PowerPoint that has four nice flashcard maker slides, which I can now show my students. And that's it. Thank you very much.